So let's talk about carbon dioxide. It's uh, one of the many gases that we use here at Moto. I've actually blown this balloon up using carbon dioxide. And so what we're gonna do is put it in some liquid nitrogen. And what'll happen is the CO2 is gonna turn into a solid. You know this is dry ice. And so now that solid is gonna go from a solid to a gas. That's called sublimation. Next, I want you to do an experiment at home. What we do at the restaurant is we put grapes and fruit inside these containers and we pressurize it. But at home, what you can do to make carbonated fruit is you can actually take a balloon and you can put your grape or fruit in it. The bigger the balloon, the better, because then you have a, a much wider neck at the top. And then we'll blow this up. And you know, if you're doing this with your kids, they can just blow it up and have fun with it. So now we actually have the uh, grape inside the balloon and we put this in our refrigerator overnight, the pressure from the balloon will cause the CO2 to carbonate the water in the grape, and so it'll wind up fizzy. So here we have a small balloon because we have grapes in it. And because the grape is smaller, we don't need as much force pressurizing it with carbon dioxide. And here we have a larger balloon because we have oranges in it. And the orange segments are a little larger than the grape, so we need more force pushing the CO2 into the orange. It's a very simple trick to teach your kids about carbon dioxide and maybe global emissions where we can take CO2 from the atmosphere and pressurize it into things like grapes or oranges. And now this is the part where your kids get to join in and pop the balloons. It looks just like a grape, but it's really fizzy on the inside. And what you have here are carbonated orange segments. And that's just fun for the whole family. So stay tuned on Get to Know Your Chef, where we're going to be exploring many more techniques like this, and you're going to be able to do this at home. Cheers.